Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how I turn a pile of parts, $150 pile of parts, into $1,500. I'm also gonna touch on a few tools I like to put in my tool bag when I take out to the yard. At the end, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of what else is going on in the garage and answer the question, why do I have a bunch of Hot Wheels hanging out by our shipping computer? Let's get to it. We don't have to get too dirty, but we do have to do a little bit of work. Let's go make this money, boys. What's up, guys? This is the hood that we pulled the other day off that BMW, that 99Z3, beautiful hood. We've gotta get this hood wrapped up, processed. As you can see, I've already started doing that. We bubble wrapped the end so we can store this thing because it can't just sit here. I actually got this listed on eBay for $799 plus shipping. Shipping on this hood is gonna be a little more expensive and because it's big and it's heavy, and it's probably gonna have to go freight. We've also got this listed up on Facebook Marketplace for 500 bucks. Cheaper, come get it. I don't have to ship it, deal with it, no fees, all that stuff. Packaged and secured for storage. And we're gonna do that with a combination of bubble wrap and just this packing wrap. Here's our LS 400 fenders um, with that hood there. We haven't been able to process those and get them listed yet, plus a whole bunch of parts. Floor shifters are convertible top pump all that stuff needs to go all this stuff needs to get listed as well um, first we got to get this and then here is that bg30 dett engine that had water damage and was all rusted getting ready to scrap all that so let me know if you need anything off there before it gets scrapped uh it's pretty much worthless junk Couple new sockets for the uh, junkyard bag. These are a set of tools that I have that are dedicated, just always ready to go for the junkyard. Needed a long 10 and a little three quarter H drive. Eight millimeter, we'll put that up there. Our bag is always packed and ready. With the tools, whatever we usually need, we're gonna add those today. That way I don't take any of nicer stuff like Snap-on all in here, it's my mainline stuff in the garage but i'd hate to lose it out in the uh in the yard and this stuff if i lose it it's about five dollars to replace and i don't really care and i found that craftsman actually works pretty good um the garbage at harbor freight for tools never fit correctly so i don't really buy their sockets craftsman lifetime warranty if something happens to this if i break it or whatever you can take it down to lowe's and get a new one and i find the fitment on these tools are good i've used crafting this stuff for years. It's even like a good mainline tool. I just happen to have snap on stuff because uh, I used to be able to get it at a good price. So this is what I take in my bag. It's uh, all laid out. We've got eight to 17 or 18, whatever it is. It was just a set I bought at Lowe's. Um, as you can see right here, we've got, I did need a long tin. And we have our snap on long tin. I'm changing that out today for the Craftsman one. Plus this is a six point, which I like a little bit more than the 12 point you can strip something with that a lot easier. And then our eight millimeter, boom. What I like about this in the junkyard is I know I can look at this rack of sockets and know if I'm missing one, if I didn't go back and pick one up, if I set one down and they're all in a line and I'll always know you know, eight millimeters here, 10, long 10, 12, so on and so forth. Of course, I skipped 11 because I took 11 out. But uh, that can just go in the bag. Organization, so you don't leave tools behind. Boom. Like, I don't know if you guys watched the video, you know, like we found this snap-on uh, screwdriver out in the back of somebody's car. 
left it behind. I'll tell you what, this isn't the first time I found a snap-on tool in the junkyard either. All right, we got the hood out of the way. Now it's time to come to these uh, LS400 fenders. And what we need to do is just clean them up so we can get some pictures taken, get them listed and make that money, boy. hit this fender with a little dual action buffer there and some cutting compound to really bring out the black plus i was fighting that stupid two and paint that they had on there still got a little bit of yellow but this thing is like glass moon look how good that was just a few minutes dual action buffer this will pop a lot more this fender was kind of dull i wasn't happy with how it was looking i wanted to really pop in the picture we're gonna get top dollar for this fender now and i put a little piece of tape over here so we can see the difference where we buffed it and where we didn't. Dirty, it's dull and versus this, boom. Better one, better two. And we cleaned this with soap and water and this is what it was looking like and I just wasn't happy with that. Uh, this is the fender that we sell right here. This is what's gonna get top dollar, boys. Just a few minutes. Let me go ahead and buff this side out, get this thing all good, and uh, we'll get this thing ready for pictures. About to do the other one too. Not too bad, just take a few minutes. Boom. Look at that. I want this on my LS400, man. two fenders that's the one we just finished getting ready to list and sell cleaned up and this is the one that we just pulled off the car and we need to sell one more thing on this fender i've got some quick detail this is for black cars in particular black paint and deeper darker shine i'm just going to hit it with this uh, we'll finish it off and then we'll move on to the other fender. This is the last finishing secret touch here. Just basically a spray detailer for black cars. It's just that much better. Super dark black. I mean, this is crazy. This is night and day from what it was. You can see yourself in the camera there that's just a few minutes on this junkyard fender right here oh look at those fenders damn they're dripping wet dude look at that look like they just came out of fresh paint but no these are some junkyard fenders we pulled off of 2000 ls 400 got them all cleaned up they look freaking beautiful man i'd love to have those on my car i'll show you what i used to get them that clean that good that polished up this is literally just uh dish soap and water mixture i just keep refilling this all the time with dish soap and water just i hit it all with the prep ball to try and get that uh, grease pin off of there works really good usually use this for painting and then we hit it with our buffer this is a dual action buffer and then i've got a really fine pad on here and i used this coarser pad on the driver's side fender because it was a little bit more chewed up some more scratches and then worked down to the spine pad with the cutting compound i've got this ultra cut compound that we hit it with first and then hit it a second time with this ultra finished compound link in the description below for all this 
kind of stuff. And of course, our spray detailer, specifically for black cars. I love this stuff. I used it all the time on my 350Z. It's a nice microfiber towel. So boom, these are ready to get listed. We'll take some pictures of these, get these listed. I'll actually list them on both Marketplace and eBay. See who would I get uh, hits on it first. Shouldn't be hard with them looking this good. A couple other things I've come across lately. You, on the Instagram, you've seen these Hot Wheels. Dude, I've noticed uh, car guys are into Hot Wheels and Hot Wheels are into car guys. Why, Jesse, do you have a bunch of Hot Wheels hanging out by your computer, by your printer? Because when we print and ship orders, I like to throw a little Hot Wheels in there for fun, dude. And these ones are badass. These I came up on the other day. These little Civics, all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you get an order from me, you might find a Hot Wheels in your thing. These are the ones I've picked up today. I figured it was the dollar store dude this one was stocked up was able to pull out a 98 subaru impreza this is like the new style for 2023 or whatever looking pretty sick uh dude my favorite right here this is my wife always makes fun of me can't buy the cars in real life but you can buy the hot wheels i think that's why we're gonna got a 90 accurate nsx looking sick dude. and uh the nissan maxima drift car because why not every nissan's a drift car right Oh, and then a Toyota Supra, cause that's another one. Put it in the collection, cause I don't have one in my garage. We do have the SC400, closest I'm getting to a Supra. That's why these are hanging out here. They might go in your order. Over here, let's take a peek in this box. We're probably gonna save it though, I don't got time to do it. We some powder coating and these valve covers. We just got these refinished. Let's uh, refinish some valve covers and I think we're gonna powder coat them picked up this oven on Facebook Marketplace on the cheap. We got some valve covers. I always have these in stock, so I figured it would be cool if we refinished them. And then we can powder coat whatever we want on this VG30 too, that maybe one day will actually go in my 300. Thank you so much to the people that support this channel, the members on YouTube and the people that support it on Patreon. If you wanna get on that list, make sure and check the links in the description below. Much appreciated to all you for watching. I've got a little sneak peek on what we're gonna do next. We always pull these parts, but I'm gonna show you how I store, label, and get ready to ship them. And then we've already sold one of those LS400 black fenders. So I'm gonna show you what it takes to package and ship and how much it costs. A body panel like that, how profitable it is. On the next one, here's a little taste. I'll catch you over there, peace.